Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel and welcome to part two of me having a look at the Redkin family of hair styling products, which I have to admit is my absolute ultimate favourite, or at least it's really, really up there of my sort of go to products, which I really, really enjoy and love styling my hair with. It all started from where I get my hair cut. They they use Redkin hair styling products and I just literally um, just taken back each time when I use it from the, the control which the products give, the quality, the smell, the, how the style holds, how the product performs. It's all just really a real, real top high rate product. So today, part two, we are going to be looking at a another hairspray. So this is this hairspray, which we're going to be looking at. And we're going to be looking at this product here, which is a paste product. And I think this one, it, is a, a work hard molding paste by the Redkin Brews NYC Grooming Barber Essentials range. So predominantly you would think that this is for men's hair because it says Barber Essentials on here. But like I discussed on my part one, if you've got sort of uh, for, so for women's hair or for men's hair, if you've got those sort of shorter lengths, real lot of texture on the top, or perhaps a long style at the back as a woman, this would be fantastic for you as well to really create definition, control, and really get a nice sort of uh, a nice sort of edgy character in the hair, actually. And of course, for men's hair, perfect for short hair, perfect for wavy hair, thick, fine, thin hair, amazing. Hairspray. This one straight off. We had a look in part one. We had a look at this one here. So we had a look at this is triple take three two and this has got three holes at the top so you get a real nice direction control and a real dry mist of hairspray we're not looking at that one that's in part one so go back and have a look at that on my channel and of course we also had a look at the thickening spray i've used this in my style today but we're not talking about it so this is for thicker hair whether you're a man or a woman predominantly for men's hair but it's for men and women if you want to have a look at this one or a bit of a bit more knowledge about it have a look at part one so let's move straight into this hairspray here. So this is the Redkin. This one is the Fifth Avenue NYC variety, and this is Control Addict. So we had, just comparing on my part one, the Triple Take 32. Now this is really super strong. It's a dry hairspray. And you may think, well, isn't this a wet product? Yes, absolutely. But it's a dry product, so it dries instantly. So you get that real ultra volume on this one. You want to know more? Part one. <laughs> um, but this here is slightly different. So this is Control Addict 28. Now it still says extreme high hold hairspray, but this one just has the single hole nozzle on the top. But what I find with this one straight off that it's not so strong. So for example, if you're somebody who doesn't like, I mean, I like a hairstyle to sit concrete, sort of fixed, firm, strong throughout the day. I like to be able to sort of go out and those, if you, if you get them in wherever you live, sort of real strong, almost like hurricane winds. I like my hairstyle to still hold. So for me, that would be this one here. So that's the triple take 32. This one, you get a little bit more of a natural hold to it but however my natural hold is just get you get that sort of ever so slight sort of movement to it you don't get that complete concrete fix which i like in a hairspray however if you keep spraying this like the other one it's a buildable spray so what i like about this is if for example you've blow dried your hair into a nice style and i always say blow dry your hair into the nice style what you want to enjoy wearing unless you're wearing your hair off and a direction like what I've got today, then you will go the opposite direction. Because what that does, particularly if you have fine hair, it builds thickness and it builds volume and that lift in the hair, because of course you're going against the grain of the hair. Little tip there for you, which I also mentioned in part one. Then literally, you don't have to use product. You can use just a spray of this, run your fingers through your hair. You can see where I've run my hand through my hair today. So I've just swept the side back because I'm growing the sides out to see how that looks and um, growing the undercut out what I've got at the moment and then take your hand and then pull your fingers through your hair you can see where my fingers have gone in closer to my scalp spray this as you're going spray it once do a little bit of styling spray it a second time and your third time just to really finish everything off and then just to really sort of have that polished finished style so you're then ready to start your day or whatever you are doing but this is a really really nice hairspray the smell it's not overbearing it's not uncomfortable it's really quite pleasant and quite unisex as well men or women could happily use this and i have had this used on my hair 
in the uh, hairdressers where I go to get my hair cut. But this actually was a gift put together for me. Um, all the products which you'll see in this, in both part one and two of the Redkin hair series. And um, this was part of a Christmas gift from uh, a member of my family, which is just incredible and so, so thoughtful. So I'm really, really taken back by that. Now, what I would say about this is, what I always say is really, really important, is you may always think, why do you talk about your sort of skin irritation or anything like that at all? Because it's important. If you're using hairspray, the last thing you want it to do is leave you feeling irritated or uncomfortable around your hairline or at the nape of your neck. This does none of that, which is absolutely amazing. And I spray it close on my hairline. What I always like to do, and I don't mind showing you whilst we're doing um, this on the video here, I get lots of short hairs coming through. Since I've started and been taking Viviscal, my hair's getting thicker in my hairline. So what I like to do, once I've styled my my hair off like this. I like to then take the hairspray product and I like to spread it in the roots. I like to grab a finger here and I like to just polish it off so I haven't got those sort of short hairs here. And then when I finish, I spray a little bit more just to finish everything off. And even just smelling like that, it's really nice and you really, it just takes you straight away as though you're in a real top expensive sort of place, having your hair styled, having it cut, groomed, that type of thing. Really nice. It's a fresh fragrance. I mean, any other type of hairspray, if I was spraying it, I wouldn't just be able to kind of new talking, would I? Um, it, you'd be coughing, you'd be, you'd be sort of wanting to get out of the room. Whereas that, it almost smells like a really nice sort of, uh, like a, a body fragrance. So it's a really, really nice fragrance to use. Um, rather hairspray to use, correction. Let's tell you a little bit about what it says on the back here. So control level maximum. And if you wanted to compare that with what the other one is, the triple take, this also says maximum. But I think what the difference is here is this is, uh, it's got triple hold. So on the nozzle here, I don't know if you can just see, oh, you might well be able, no, I don't think you can. But what you can see on here is that you can see the circle in the middle, but at each point of that circle, there's two holes at the top and there's one at the bottom. And when you spray that, the product comes out. So theoretically get a more drier hairspray and it holds, uh, I say a little bit more of a better hold. It just gives you that much more of a fix of the hairstyle. So it holds it in place much more securely. This though does not mean that this is any less of a good styling product because this is absolutely brilliant. And what I can just say is it says here on the back, get addicted to 24 hour control, fast drying aerosol hairspray offers advanced shape, memory, brushability and humidity resistance, creates a soft matte finish with no visible flakes and no visible residue. That, what I forgot to say, is that's exactly what it does, the memory. So it holds the style throughout however long you want to. And I know this because I've used this now since Christmas, about a two week period. And then when you brush it a little bit out at the side, it kind of remembers the style you've got, which is an added bonus as well. Um, and in both of the products, if you've watched my part one, fantastic, thank you for being here. Um, on part two, it's worth mentioning. Hairsprays very, very often can leave white sort of bits and things in your hair, can't it? Horrible, nobody wants that at all. These two do not leave that at all. They leave your hair actually feeling quite soft afterwards. And it does actually surprise me because very often with my favourite hairstyles, um, and I use a lot of hairspray, after I've brushed it, it feels like, wow, I need to do some repairing. Um, not all the time, but sometimes, particularly if you're using heat and particularly if you've got lighter hair like me at the moment. But the Redkin Hairspray series does not leave your hair feeling like that. They look after your hair, which is an absolute added bonus as well. Let's move on. So the other product, which I absolutely love, is this one here. So this is from the Redkin Brews uh, NYC Grooming Barber Essentials range. It's a work hard molding paste, and this is ma uh, maximum control, natural finish. And this I really, really like, because I've tried this several times. So straight away, it's a pump product here, and you can just see the product where I've been using it on the end here. Um, it, so it's a pump product. It is a little bit wet than what I would expect, to be quite honest with you. But however, having said that, what you'd get from this product in comparison to the Parmade, which I showed in part one, haven't got it with me. It's up on the shelf in front of me. <laughs> and I'm not going to get it because if you want to have a look at that, watch part one. But what the difference is, is the Parmade from the range is real super strong in hold um, and in strength. It holds the style there straight away. This works with the texture and the natural character you have in your hair. So what I do with this, like what I've got today, is I blow dry my hair through with using the thickener spray first of all, if you want to know more, part one, spray it all throughout your scalp and then blow dry your hair off. So wet hair, shampooed conditioned hair, thickening spray, then with my sort of oblong half semicircle brush, literally brushing it up. So hold it quite taut, brush towards the ceiling and then off to the opposite direction. So of course I'm doing this looking at the camera so it's a bit different. So what I've done is I lifted it up this side and brushed off to the opposite way I was wearing my hair. 
That way, then when you brush it back over to the, the other way, you get much more lift, much more fullness in the hair, which is just what you want. So if you didn't catch that, what I said there, because I realised that I might be talking a little bit fast sometimes, is if you're wearing your hair off to the left, for example, dry it off to the right, because what that does is it goes against the grain of the hair, and then when you put it back to the style or the side you want to wear it, it should just remember, always do it on the opposite side, you will find that you get much more much more of a fullness, much more of a lift, much more volume in your hair. Then take a little bit of this, like what I've done today, literally not very much at all. Um, unfortunately, I can't really, I can't really put it in my hand because um, I can't really rub it back through my hair. But I would say probably about a quarter of a size of a golf ball. You don't need to use that much with it at all. And then literally warm it up in your hands and then put it through your hair. So like what I've done straight away is I've used a little bit just to control the sides. And then what I've done is I've used my hands all throughout the front of my hair towards the back. So I use the back is blow dried quite straight. So there's not too much volume in here, just fullness. And then in the front, I've got that lift. So what I've done is I smoothed the sides and then I've gone all throughout my hair and then I've pulled through my roots upwards and then with my fingers I've literally pulled through my fingers off to one side so you can see as you can see here my fingers would have just dug in there and it's given that really nice swooping style and this just works with the character so if you've got a bit of wave in your hair my hair is super straight but occasionally you get the odd sort of kink in the hair this works with that it gives you that bit more sort of wave that bit more texture so it's really really great for that and very often i haven't taken pictures of it unfortunately but if i'm busy at work and i just want a bit more of a smarter style in the last two weeks i've used a little bit of this ran it through my hands pulled the hair off to one side and then she used a little bit of the hairspray and then i've got this really cool style to when i'm around the house or for whatever comes up to be quite honest with you and it's super cool and it looks really really good and trendy as well so this is great for doing those natural looks as well as those combed formal looks as well and like what the look i've got today because then what i do if i want to hold it in place you may just like that bit more of a natural hold but it is a firm hold maximum control it's saying on here so i don't want to give that away as saying that it's not a very strong holding product because it's is but for me as i always say if you know my channel i like it to sit sort of concrete sort of still so for me i would go in and i would spray it all over with the with the uh hairspray or the or the triple uh what's it triple take hairspray as well so triple take is number 32 control addict is number 28 so either one of those just to hold my style in place let's tell you a little bit about the back of the molding paste here so redkin and brews paste mold styles with texture and delivers a natural finish but not a natural hold so there's not too much shine with this at all it's natural it just gives you that sort of natural finish but it does give you a good hold on here but if you want it super holding then i would always just spray a little bit of uh, of the spray over the top directions rub a small amount into your hands and work through damp or dry hair i haven't tried it through damp hair because i'm not necessarily a fan of that but it would be something which i would try the reason why i'm not a fan of that is because i find it sort of tugs the hair a little bit too much but if you use a little bit on damp hair and then with a sort of a wider brush like this blow dry it in i imagine you get a real nice lot of lift and volume and texture in the hair as well so i think we've kind of covered everything here in terms of price like i ended part one i have done a bit of research on this but the price does vary with these products so the Redkin Brews, if my memory serves me rightly, you can purchase this anywhere between the £12-£15 mark. And sometimes I found it online, I had a quick look, you can find it a little bit more expensive than that as well. And then in terms of the hairspray, again, around about the £12-£15 mark. But you can buy these in, a, in, in sort of a pack of two, and that price range is about £24.00. And here or there, a little bit cheaper, a little bit more as well. But to be quite honest with you, that's the only thing with Redkin sort of hairstyling products is you can find them. Sometimes you can find them where they can be a little bit cheaper and then you can find them quite expensive elsewhere as well. They are an investment in the product. Um, so, I mean, I think I've got about £100 worth of product here, maybe even more in terms of Redkin, uh, Redkin hairstyling products. They were a gift for me. Um, I would purchase them for everyday wear, absolutely I would, but for me, they sort of sit in the background of my go-to sort of armory of products. But when I want to sort of have that bit more of a, a higher sort of class of product, or pro perhaps that higher class of style, or perhaps if I'm going out anywhere or anything like that, then I would use it. Um, but ultimately, you pay for the the quality, not all the time. Um, for That's not for all hair care products, because some cheaper... Uh, some cheaper styling products can be absolutely amazing, but in terms of Redkin, you can really see that you pay for the value, the quality, the control, you name it. All the properties what these products offer, hair, 
you really do see that. So you may think it's a bit of an investment, and yes, absolutely it is, but what a perfect gift to give somebody who's into hairstyling, whether it be a man, whether it be a woman, what have you, at any age at all. An example of that is my nan is nearly 95. She has her hair styled all the time. She has dementia, but do you know what? She holds two fingers up to that illness and she's been fighting it for over 10 years now. And she's doing absolutely incredibly well. Thank the Lord. Um, but she has her hair all the time. All different hair products has her hair all the time, obviously. She has coloured hair. She has her hair styled all the time. Um, and she and she has all these different hair products used on her. Um and it's just incredible. It's always just makes my, it just warms my heart to be quite honest with you. She always, always loved having absolutely glamorous hair. And she's always, always been that way to be quite honest with you. And she's still going strong. So absolutely. Um, that there, I just wanted to share that with you. And then you've got the opposite end of the spectrum. You've got my twin brother, who's my age. And he uses, I would probably say sort of like paste products like this all the time. Cause he's got super short hair, whereas my hair is nearly down to my chin. His is super short. So he uses sort of paste products. And yes, he does use all my products because he finds them somehow he doesn't even live with me but he does find his way of getting in and using them as well but you know what i do not care there's nothing more important than family um and that's just as i don't think i've got too much more to say on it really but that was my redkin sort of hair series family products i wanted to touch on i really really hope you've enjoyed that um Amazing products, amazing to use. I mean, for example, my mum's even used it with her long hair. Um, my brother's used it with his short hair. A whole host of different styles you can create with these, and it's just quality, quality, quality all the way. I think we've covered everything there, and I really, really enjoyed that clip. I've enjoyed part one and two. Thank you so much for watching, um, and I hope you may even have a look at giving it a try yourself. You may have even been having uh, these products used on you when you get your hair cut, styled, what have you, at a hairdresser's or a barber's anyway. Um, but do have a look, keep your eye out. Um, and if you have any comments, let me know. Absolutely do let me know. I love receiving comments and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. So lastly on that note, thank you very much indeed for watching. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.